Hi, welcome for our online training sessions. Now in this session, we'll discuss uh, how we can go for load the data into human capital management. There are two loaders we will be using when we want to load the data into human capital management objects. One is spreadsheet data loader. Another one is HCM data loader. In old versions, we were having FBL also, file-based loader, and PDL also, role data loader. But uh, we are not using those things right now. We are using only two loaders. One is spreadsheet data loader. Another one is HCM data loader. In this session, we'll discuss how we can go for upload the components by using spreadsheet data loader. If we want to work with the spreadsheet data loader, make sure that install the ADF desktop integrator software in our local machine. We have to install ADF desktop integrator software in our local machine. So uh, in this Excel sheet I have already installed. Okay. You can also download from the server. Okay. So once we do that, let's go to our uh, components. Let me go to the FSM environment here. Go to setup and maintenance here. And uh, let's, let's look for the task called job family. We'll find almost all the work workforce structure objects can be uploaded by using spreadsheet data loader like location, job family, job, position, grades, okay, departments. This all objects can be loaded by using spreadsheet data loader. Okay. So when I go for the task here, minus job families. Now it's showing that some rare VSs we have since FSM problem we have got some FSM issue. Let me just cross check again. Let me, we can also go from here, my client groups and workflow structures. Manage job families. So here, if we want to create job family manually, we can do it from here. One by one, we can go ahead with creation of this here. And if we want to load the data, multiple records at a time, we can use spreadsheet. So if we have this button, then spreadsheet facility is available for this particular uh, object. For this particular object uh, we have here. Click on this manage in uh, spreadsheet. Open this. Click on this option, enable editing. Our system is asking us to uh, connect to the application, connect it to the Fusion applications through this spreadsheet data loader. So we have to enter the credentials, whatever we have entered into the application, same here, say yes. Now this ADF desktop integration does not match the server version. Client version is this and server version is this. Not a problem, so we don't need to go for install the latest one. It supports for the old one also. It's just warning message, no problem, skip it. Now 
now system is going to prepare this spreadsheet uh, application and internally it will be connected to the fusion applications through the credentials whatever we have entered if we look at in the first page we can find the instructions how we have to use this uh, spreadsheet uh, for data loading we can find the instructions in the first page then second page we will find actual uh, spreadsheet uh, loader information whatever you wanted to load we have to do it from here and we can find the messages here error messages or warning messages we can find here here we can find the tab or uh, spreadsheet data loader. So this tab is populated means your, your Excel sheet has got application. PDF desktop integrator application is installed successfully. And now we are able to enter the information proper. So let's go to spreadsheet data loader. So first what we have to do is here, we have to go for created data sheet. Go to spreadsheet data loader menu create data sheet thing but name for the data which we are going to provide so we are creating a new data set it will cause all unsaved changes to okay so we are going to create a data set the data set name is job family and the date type system has taken that is the naming convention data set has created successfully Whenever we are using the spreadsheet data loader in human capital management, we must create the data set. Why we require it is just going to group the records, whatever we are going to enter. This is the data set name. And which template we are working right now? Job family object. This template we are going to work. We're trying to create the job family. And if already we have a record, we are trying to update it. And which business object we are working job family at this point of time we do not have any messages let's go for enter this data effect start date so i'm going to specify it's valid from 11th january 2023 job family code i'm going to specify The status, active status. We can find here some instructions regarding the data which we are going to enter into the particular column here. So whether the data is valid or not. And we entered job family code and name and the status here. And if at all we want to pass the reason code, we can pass here. If at all we want to set effective end date, we can set otherwise not required. So we entered the data here successfully. Let's say we want to upload multiple records, we can go for upload. Our same information we can copy. If we want to copy this information, control C and control V here. Now we are getting uh, here an error message to modify a protected cell chart. First, remove the protection using the unprotected sheet command. When we try to copy this, what system is showing? This particular cell is protected. If you want to copy the information, first we have to unprotect this. Unprotect the sense we have to go for the tab called review tab, unprotect. Now we can go for copy this information. Okay, so let's say I would like to upload this uh, value. Here it is active status. Let me take one more record. 
change the value if needed. Let's say this is from 2021. This is from 2022. Going to say that active status as inact. So, like this, we can go for enter the valid information here. After we enter the data, go back to the menu spreadsheet data loader and go for import. Import the file, and you have this options to save this temporarily, or you can go for directly upload, or you can go for rollback. So, we got all the three options. I'm going for upload it. Now, system internally connected to the Fusion applications already here because we already entered the credentials with our username and password, and now it's going to be uploaded. The request to import and load spreadsheet data was successful. Internally, system has submitted this uh, import and load data spreadsheet uh, process. It will be uploading the data into the vision applications here. Now we can get it from, we can go to the navigator. Let's go to scheduled process here. Import and load business objects, it's still running. We can also find this information from the data exchange option. Let's go to navigator, my client groups, make sure that human resource specialist role is required to the option data exchange here. When we go for data exchange, here we can find HCM spreadsheet data loader. We can also call it as HSDL. HSDL is nothing but HCM spreadsheet data loader. Spreadsheet data loader, both are the same. It is. So, and we can find out the templates here and we can download. And the recent spreadsheet data, uh, data loads Whatever we have done that information we can find. This is what the data set okay. and the object load success. How many records has been loaded successfully here? You can find those details information here. Now we can get this data from this information from front end. Let me open this page. Let's go to workforce structures. This is Tata Finance family, which is active status. Then after that, we uploaded PwC. PwC Finance job family. It is from 2022. Start date we specified. Then we have uploaded uh, Wipro. We don't find that record. System is showing that uh, this record is not exist. The reason is behind uh, while uploading this record, we specified inactive status. Status is inactive, right? So while searching also in the front end, make sure that inactive status. We say uh, maybe we, it is inactive or active, we are not clear. So what we can do is uh, we can choose a null value and go for search. So now this is inactive here, click search button.
this is from 2008 valid from 2020 so like this we can go for upload the data by using spreadsheet data load so we cannot uh, load the major object called work work data loading is not possible through spreadsheet data loader but other than that the remaining object can be loaded like positions jobs locations departments and goals when we are working with goal management see there is option here manage spreadsheet if i go for grades we can find here manage student spreadsheet departments new spreadsheet so we have all these options uh, over here when we are working with the applications here this is about spreadsheet data loader when we are working with the human capital management uh, but organizations Divisions, we don't have that facility. We have to go for create manually. Of course, divisions is not part of actually enterprise structure that much of activeness. So we will be using the main enterprise structures. Divisions, we are not going to use much. Okay, thank you.